Alright guys, so what up? So, as I said before in my last video, my next video would be up when my, which would most likely be my Captain America review. And that's what it is. Because I went to see the um, preview showing of uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Let me first start out by saying, wow, this film kicked ass. I love this film. Let's just, just get into it. For all you know, Captain America is the um, second is the second sequel, of course, to the uh, Captain America 2000. Um, wow, why am I? I'm all screwed up in the years here. But from the last Captain America, and also the continuation of the Avengers storyline, which is Marvel Phase Two, which actually I think this is the last film in the Phase Two series, especially judging from the scene, just judging from the scene after the credits. Um, as far as I think Ga Guardians of the Galaxy is actually supposed to be more, it's supposed to be, like, be part of Phase 3 to start it off, the ideal, the um, get towards um, Thanos. But getting at myself, that's a different film, I'll talk about that whenever I see it. But yeah, Captain America, let me, first let me start by saying, Chris Evans has really, don't, like, really kind of gathered himself in terms of like, getting into the role more and more. I mean, he was, Chris Evans was full in Captain America mode in this one. He really transitioned and really grew a lot more and more in the character. Actually, he's getting better, and he's gotten better acting-wise, too. Even class of that, because I know he wants to get into directing and producing and stuff, but he's gotten better at acting. For, um, big things, let me say. This film, what I really, really loved about this film is the balance. This is the type of balance that Iron Man 3 did not have and I hate that film and I've said it many times I hate Iron Man 3 I actually love Thor The Dark World though um but this film had the balance that I love when I'm seeing these type of comic book movies it, it kept the serious tone enough but also had those those like cool funny like laughable moments in him like I'll, I'll just like give it a I'll small spoiler like in the beginning I actually kind of loved it when uh, Captain America's running and he keeps passing this uh, the guy over and over again and he gets sent on the left I actually liked that and those like small other things but at the same time they did a good job of keeping like the serious tone of this too and that's what I like about films I like films especially and this was really character driven and that's another thing I love I love when I care about the characters, when the film is, when the, it's more about the characters, of course it had the action in it, but when you actually care more about what is going on with these characters, it makes those action scenes feel more, it makes, it like gives you more amp and it gives you a more sense of urgency because you actually care what's going on. And I must say, I actually care about everybody in this film because of how great I think like the characterization and story based for this was where Iron Man and other things have failed on that. Um, Scarlett Johansson still continued to be great as Black Widow. It was, it was great, always great casting, and she's a great actress. Sam Jackson, awesome. I mean, I love Sam. Sam's the man. Sam Jackson, great. Nick Fury, he has some really, he has a really cool scene in the film. Don't want to give it too much away for people who haven't seen it yet, but I thought it was a really fun and cool scene. Um, Oh God! What is his name? One second here. I just want to look this up real quick. I'm just gonna look. I forgot. I forgot his name. I'm gonna try the. Ah, come on, load. Pop this up. Pop up. Pop up. Come on. Should have had this right up. I. I apologize for not having the. The knowing this. The name in my head. I honestly apologize for that real quick. But where is it? Anthony Mackie. That's his name. I. I could get into my head. Wow. He. I thought he was great as Fal a Falcon. I thought he was great, and I cared about this character because. They actually gave this character a voice, and like they they wrote they actually found a way to mold like mold this character and make it so you'd actually care about this. You know, there's been many times in comic book movies where they add a new character and and that character isn't given any characterization or much. It's not given much of a story, and you don't really care too much about that character. I liked, I liked, I loved the Falcon in this. I thought Anthony Mackie was awesome. I thought he did a great job, and like I said, I cared about this character. When it came to the end of the movie and we're having the big action stuff, I actually cared about his character because they met. They actually made me care about this character. 
They actually wrote this character and made me. They said, hey, we're not going to just throw this guy in here. We're going to make him a character. A lot of movies, they don't do that. One, when look when Spider-Man 3 came out, Venom. Let's just throw Venom in here. They didn't give him a character, though. So, it, I did not give two fucking shits about Eddie Brock. It's a pointless character. And the other films have done that. They've just thrown people in and said, pay attention to this guy. Why? I mean, he has no characterization. He's just there. But I thought they did a good job at writing, or they actually wrote good material for him and molded him in uh, proper. And I, so I really like, like, and I, I actually, I, I actually, hope I, well, he's going to be in more of the next Captain America show, but I'd actually just like to see more of that character. I thought he was really good. Did a bang up job at it. Robert Redford, great actor. Oh man, just he did a good job in this. I I have always been a fan of Robert Redford. It's nice to see him coming back and doing some more work. He's been kind of absent for a lot of years. It's nice to see him to pop back in, um, into the fold of things. Um, direction of this film thought it was great. Um, some really cool action scenes. Some really cheer moments, some fun moments with this, and I know I hear and you know, and I know some people are gonna say, "Well, when I saw this scene, come, on. well, don't even." Let me tell you something. When you, when people bring up the whole, oh man, he fell out that window. Oh, come on, I'm like, this is a comic book movie. You suspend your disbelief. So like my friend once, my friend told me, asked me, he's like, "How does he get the shield to come back to him?" I'm like, "He throws it, he bounces off." You have to suspend your disbelief, of course. Yeah, oh, he's going to bounce the shield off. No, but this is a comic book. You, you take it as it is. And I, I never questioned that, those. Because when it comes to the comic book world, you have to suspend your disbelief at times. I mean, come on. But, yeah. Third act of this film was awesome. And I, the, pacing was, I, the pacing was really good with this film. In all honesty, sometimes I, this film felt shorter than I thought. It got to the end of the movie. I'm like, whoa, what? The, I actually felt like, holy crap, this film is going past going by real fast and that's because I was so into the film when I'm into something it snaps by when I film feel longer when I'm bored and the pacing of this was great I thought I thought they did a great job at the pacing I never felt bored at any time even during all the story and stuff because I like the characterization so I, I honestly never felt bored with this um so in closing I think Captain America w was great film just a heads up, stay to the end of the credits, because there is a scene after the credits. There's two scenes. One big scene, which leads into the Avengers. Can't wait for that. Age of Ultron next year. Um, but so, my rating of this. I would have to say, I always rate things on the... I don't do the, like, in between, because I like to just rate, um, give a straight number. So, I always say, I rate this on the IMDb scale of 1 to 10. I would have to give Captain America a... Nine. Yes, I give Captain America a nine. The film was excellent. This is a com this is honestly to my personal opinion, it's comic book making at its best. Great balance, great acting, great characterization, making you care and feel for each one of these characters in the movie, giving them a voice. Even the one uh, Emily Vanderkamp from um I don't even, I think I might have just butchered her name there. I'm sorry about that. I think I honestly I apologize. Oh, I did it. It is that Vanna Kemp. I thought I butchered her, butchered that, but no. Even her, I know, man, I managed to actually be like, whoa, interesting chick. Even though she wasn't in it much. Because this was done proper. This is how you do comic book films proper. And, like I said, nine. Excellent film. Best, I would put... Out of all the Marvel Studio films, I'm not going to add X-Men or any of these others in because those are not Marvel Studios. But I would say this is the sec. I would have to put this as my number two favorite right behind the Avengers. If I put them in order, it would be the Avengers, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Incredible Hulk, Thor The Dark World, and the first Captain America. Those were the, out the order I would put it in in terms of my favorite Marvel Studio. I emphasize that. I guess the Coke is in Marvel Studios, but it is because it was by Universal. But still, Marvel Studios phase films. Let me put that. Let me eat. Um, but yeah, loved it. Also, watching the trailer again for Guardians of the Galaxies. I'm more intrigued on that. I will be seeing that. Um, but yeah, great film. I might. I 
really considering going to see this again this weekend because I really enjoyed it. But um, yeah, I thought this was great. Honestly, I love the scene at the end. Can't wait to Age of Ultron. And not much more to say about. But if you haven't seen, so as I was closing, Captain America. Have you seen it? Are you look, looking forward to seeing? It? If you haven't seen it, you looking for it? Go see it. I tell you, go see it. Good film. And this is coming. And as I always say, this is coming from a DC guy. Because I've always said that DC comes first, Superman and Batman. I still like Marvel, but this film, this is a good film. This is a good film. Go see it if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next review or next video, which should. Actually, I don't know. Might be next week for Transcendence. I'm going. Or I could just put up a video. I might put up a video of some. Um, so I might have some videos for my trip to PAX because I'm going to PAX East this um, next weekend. But I will see you guys in my next video. And like I said, if you haven't seen Cap, get your ass out there because you should see it.